care what you believe in. Your race is a Hebrew. Israelite, whether you know or you don't know, you still eat a my, eat a nice. Bunch of chocolate covered eat a mice. Got you all. They ain't even got to be around you no more. You all against each other. Better wake up. It's going to come a time that these prophecies and the things that's written here for the future, you ain't ready for it. You're not concerned about it. You just want to keep on lollygagging and hanging out and doing the things you've been doing all the world and not really realizing how serious this is, how you got to give your life to this. Even though you have a lot, you still got to give your life to this. As a soldier, Verse 4, when the Mashiach Yahushai, who is our life, hear that? Who's your life? Say your name. Say your name, say your name, say your name. That's your life. You hear what he said? When a Mashiach Yahushai, when the anointed, when the Messiah, it say when Mashiach, that's what's important. Some of you done forgot about that. See, one thing I know is about our brothers and sisters, you are creatures of habit. When you don't have anyone to be able to guide you the right way, pretty soon, poof, it's gone because it wasn't never in you. You see here, it don't say Yahweh, it say, for ye are, it says, when Mashiach, ye are dead to this world. It said, for when Mashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him. In glory. It ain't talking to everyone. It's talking about those that's putting their affection. You know, you got affection for a woman. Your affection for the most high of Mashiach that was shy and the things heavenly. You know, because that's why you look at, oh, well, I'm, I'm, people tell me I'm blessed. Because I do this or that because they learn how they do certain things that these pope job eating preachers done taught them. And they think, oh, I'm blessed. I'm, I'm all right. Ain't nothing going to name me. Ain't nothing going to happen to me because I pay my tithes to these pope job eating preachers. Or, or you do whatever you do. And then we ask you questions about this world. You don't know nothing. As you ought to know. And still claim to be a Gentile. I don't care. Some Israel, Hebrew Israelites still Gentiles. You know why? Because their minds... Or eat them knives. You got to change. You got to become a new creature. You got to be born again. You got to become a new man. You got to become a new woman. That's the only way. So I say, you're going to be in Mashiach. You're going to be by Shem Mashiach. You better change. You better give your life to this before it's too late. Because you can't give it your life to it in the last minute and say, oh, uh, uh, I was in the world most high. Only one that's going to be able to do that to come in that last hour that's called that last hour. You called now. If you hear my voice, you called right now. Not tomorrow or the next day or next week or whenever it is. You called right now. As you hear the message and the message of the Most High. You can't say you ain't hear this. What well, you going to tell me? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, well, I'm not going to pay attention to you. Get your butt over there, Lake of Fire. Poof. That's all the choices we have. Choose life, or you gonna say, okay, go to go to the right side, live a lasting life, or two, lake of fire, go to the left side and be thrown in the lake of fire. Listen, Joshua 1 and 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. That thou mayest observe to do according to all. That is written therein. You see? For then, when you do this, then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. And then, when you do this, thou shalt have good success. That's a fact. Did he say, if you do this, you might have good success? You might make your way prosperous? No. He's making a statement here where you can say most high. Where you have said here that if we observe to do according to all that is written therein, then we shall be 
prosperous, then we shall have good success because all success is not good. That shows you right there. Because he wouldn't emphasize good success. Who is good? The Most High only. We have success from the Most High. And that's what you should want. Hmm. Colossians 3 and 4 again. When Mashiach, who is our life, shall appear. He coming back to judge and make war. When he come back, you're going to see him. Every eye going to see him. It tells us in Revelation 1 and 7. Then shall ye also appear with him in glory. That's where we want to be. It tells us in uh, 1 Thessalonians 4.16. We want to be here. That's what this is all about, y'all. One way or the other. This is where you want to be. For Mashiach Yavashai himself shall descend from heaven. Say so when he appear, he gonna descend. Like he ascended up in heaven, he gonna descend. He coming back. He gonna descend from heaven. With a shout. With the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the Most High. And the dead that have died by Hashem Mashiach Yavashai, as you just said, shall rise first. They're going to rise first. Those that have endured to the end and, and died by a shovel, Mashiach, that was shot. Believing in the anointed Savior, in the name of the anointed Savior. Not just in the name of the Savior. There's many Saviors, but they were able one anointed. That's Mashiach. They were one anointed. That's Mashiach. The anointed are Mashiach. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, in the chariots of the Most High. The eye of foes, the flying saucers, as they call them. Not unidentified flying objects, but the identified flying objects that's going to come and get us. If the Most High will, if we're worthy. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Mashiach and the Most High. Where? In the air. And so shall we ever be with the Most High. And so shall we ever be with Mashiach Yahweh Shai. It says, wherefore comfort one another with these words. You can't be comforted you 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 not preparing yourself for this. Or you lack faith. You don't believe in what he just said. Oh, you believe because he done came through for you, but also your company, you know, the next next trying, trying tribulation that come here, you go down. And you think you're gonna be there. Nah, nah, nah. It don't work like that. Revelation 11 and 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven. Revelation 11 and 12. Saying unto them, Come up hither. This ain't for everybody. He said, they're gonna say, Come up hither. A great shout from the most high. The trumpet of the Most High. Come up hither. And they ascended. Ascended me, you going up. He descended from heaven. And we're going to ascend. Up to heaven. In a cloud. The same thing we just read. In a chariot of the Most High. And their enemies. Hear this? Our enemies beheld them. They're going to see this happening. This is what this is all for. In the same hour, when we opened up chariots, was there a great earthquake? And the tenth part of the city fell. And in the earthquake was slain of men, 7,000. That's a complete number of men. Seven is number completion. 7,000. And the remnant, you hear that? Not all of Israel, but the remnant were frightened. One third. One third of the twelve tribes of Israel were frightened and gave glory to the Most High, the power of heaven. See? Look at Hebrews 4 and 15. Hebrews 4 and 15. For we have not uh, an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. 
but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Mashiach, y'all was shy as our high priest. You know what it's saying? We have a high priest which cannot, we don't have a priest, high priest that cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. So you feel in a certain way, you got all these emotions, people got all these emotions, and you don't know how to deal with it, Mashiach, y'all was shy, so we can feel what you feel. Take it away from you. Instead of you holding on to, harboring on to something, you start with you praying, then you still harboring on to the same thing. Once you give it to him, leave it alone. That's why he said, you don't, you don't, you don't love him, you don't know him. Did you hear what he said? And some of you done heard it before. Some of this is a repeat, some of this you need to be repeated to because you still go through the same changes over and over and over again. When you gonna see this? If you that don't know, now you gonna know. Matthew 11 and 28. He said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. All you got, you labor, you working. A lot of you ain't doing up but working your mind. Your mind is all twisted from where you think. That could be very, you know, what they call it, mental stress. Mental abuse, you are mentally abusing yourself. <laughs> I love the most high. He showed me in 70. Forget about that word worry. He said, You have faith in me? You ain't gonna be talking about I'm worried about this. I'm worried about that. Say, leave that word out of your vocabulary. Because worry cancels out faith. He would have said, Listen, come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Rest from your mental abuse of yourself. <laughs> Mentally abusing yourself behind somebody else's emotions or your own mess ups. This is what he said. This is what he said. Take my yoke upon you. That yoke, you, you, you got your head and your hands like that. You know how they did us in slavery? He said, Take my yoke upon you. And learn of me. That's real simple. He said, learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart. Very humble. 